what is up everybody welcome back to real time i'm rob and i'm bryce and today we are back with season two episode six of big little lies this one is called the bad mother yeah last episode ended in a pretty crazy way bonnie's mom is still in the hospital from having her stroke and um she's talking now and finally got some words out he said kill me straight to bonnie so just add that trauma onto bonnie's pile of already existing trauma feel really bad for her she's just had a really bad go at things this season and yeah i feel like it's gonna continue because one of the main things one of the main mysteries this season has been bonnie in the water like this vision of water and everything and i feel like there's only two episodes left i mean hopefully we we see what that means she also went to the police station and saw Corey there or at least leave saw him leaving the police station so i i need to know what the hell is up with Corey. we've been suspect of him pretty much ever since he entered the show uh, i want to i want him to be a good guy just for jane's sake i feel like he's been good with jane and good with the kids so really fingers crossed that he is just a good decent guy but i've had this feeling in my stomach ever since he got on or ever since he was introduced and then seeing him at the police station last episode just made it so much worse yeah i mean this one's called the bad mother i feel like that probably would refer to celeste honestly i'm not saying she is a bad mother but just based off of the situation going on i think that's what she's trying to be painted as by mary louise and her lawyer and i could definitely see the case like i think they're taking it to court because she celeste was offered a kind of like a compromise where mary louise would take the kids on the weekends and i understand her not wanting to do that they're her kids even her lawyer thought it was a good idea but no let's take it to court so i really hope that works out for her in court but i'm a little nervous because multiple things but the her her lawyer is not too confident they're gonna necessarily win and then also this other guy's like apparently working with the police a little bit like he's close to the police so he knows some stuff and the girls have to come in i think to testify and they're liable to ask them like questions regarding perry's death so if someone fumbles or slips up or gets caught in a lie they're that's perjury and they could go to jail so i really hope that doesn't happen but yeah i just feel like there honestly is so much that needs to happen in two episodes i kind of wish there was a few more at this point but um, i'm looking forward to seeing what happens with the case with Corey, with the kids i don't know everything i'm just excited all right guys so that is pretty much it before we do get into this episode if you have been liking all the big little lies reactions make sure to leave a like drop a comment and subscribe check out all the links in our description as well we have our patreon discord all of our social medias our second channel and our po box make sure to check all of those out and with all that being said we're gonna get right into this episode big little lies season two episode six the bad mother let's do it oh here we go again yep always Renata. starts here did maddie say i did it yeah okay now it's renata saying it so they're all on the same page are they all remembering themselves saying it or no it was celeste saying i pushed him and then maddie was like no i pushed him and then renata was like no nobody pushed him that was that perspective but i feel like before we've seen other other ones saying i no one pushed like maddie said it before that's what bonnie said you're a cop oh no i'm not a cop well what the fuck were you doing there i i was bonnie saw you do you want to come in please yeah, explain let's get this. this out of the way quick I, I, I was called in for questioning by who detective quinlan what did she say she asked whether you'd talk to me about Perry Wright's death. She said with five witnesses, the odds are in her favor. One of you will finally crack. Oh, um, God. I mean, I agree. Okay, so Corey's kind of normal. We need these ladies to lock it down here, stick together. And I think that's when he, he must have taken a step back and, and he fell. I don't really remember because he stumbled back. Dude, it'd be so hard to freaking keep your story straight about this. Mm-hmm. Hmm. <laughs> but when you 
I'm not gonna break it, right? <laughs> Mary Louise is there. Part of the investigation now. The meteor could hit and you would just stay calm. Oh, fuck off, Bonnie. You know what? I'm so fuck tired off. of taking care of you. No, nope, we can't argue. I know your mom had a stroke, but let's not forget Whoa. you're the one who pushed it. <laughs> Bonnie. You slipped. You right? slipped. Right? Right. Maddie, Maddie sucks sometimes. And the closer I got to him, the more I knew what I had to do. Whoa. That was just her imagining it? Yeah. That's what she wrote, right? Why were you all out there? What did you do the other night? <laughs> Secret last minute meeting. Were you helping Celeste prepare for her custody battle? No, I mean, we were just being there for her, you know? <laughs> you know, the other day when you yeah, what are you thinking telling him about this, Madeline? Give me hope. Well, he doesn't know. I know, but he could probably put something together if she's just like, yeah, we were meeting up at the beach at night. I don't know why she's saying it because she's very obviously lying when they just spoke about that shit. Like she's holding back the truth from him. Even though it's not anywhere near cheating, still. He knows that I am lying about something. We made a pact. He's my husband. It's a fucking pact, Madeline. Maddie, don't tell Ed. So you're not going to return my phone calls or my texts because I talked to the police? Mm. Yeah, there's nothing to do with the police. I just can't do this right now. I think it might have something to do with the police. Hey. Um, yo, 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 yo. I know yo. what she's about to do. Oh, dude, I don't want to watch this. That's not real, right? Yeah, okay. Jesus, dude. <laughs> Scary. You think the lawyer's going to say anything this time? <laughs> well, we're in court, so I think she has to. He's over two right now. We will proceed with the evidentiary hearing tomorrow, Mrs. Wright. I wish to first hear from you. You will take the stand and entertain questions from me as well as the petitioner's counsel. Okay. Mm. See you all back here tomorrow. Okay. Well, it's not not going down today. Yeah. The boy's gonna have to be here. No, but tomorrow, no. Celeste. There is the risk she could get full custody. I'm not settling. I am not settling. Is that what she was talking about? Like a jo is that what she meant by joint stipulation? Fucking don't know at all. I'm afraid we just have to watch and wait. No. Do you have any questions? Can we kill her? Oh. Bonnie. Oh. She doesn't want to exist like this. Why'd she word it like that? My, my lawyer said I need to talk to you about the severance oh, again. Honey, I know. We, we you gotta talk to Ed about that, not her. Gordon. No, Ed. You didn't hear what she said. Her lawyer? She's like, I gotta talk to... My lawyer told me to talk to you about the severance. Oh. You get it? Cool. Mark severance. <laughs> Look at these two just surfing together now. They said, fuck Corey. Yeah, we took, his, we took his hobby. He's pulling up on the beach here. <laughs> Dude. I'm not walking away. Mom, check this out. Let's go. That Sandcastle. That was easy. <laughs> Dude, they got a quote with that bit. <laughs> I have no right to speak to you like that. And I want you to know if I can be helpful, which I probably don't know how I could, but I want to be. Thank you. Is this the day that they're all going to be? Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Oh, no. I think. It's getting to you. Every time. Every time. It's like they put us on a lift. <laughs> <laughs> you were in an abusive relationship with your husband. Yes. Physically abusive. Yes. Emotionally abusive. Yes. He hit you. Many times. Did you ever hit him first? Uh, not that we saw. Wait. 
I think she might have slapped him once. Do you miss the violence? No, I do not. I, I miss my husband, but I don't miss getting beat up. He beat you up often? He did. Did you ever call the police? Here we go. We knew this was coming. No. You never told anybody that your husband was hurting you? I told my therapist. Are you healed now? Objection. Dude, this guy's crazy. They said he was the best. That we plus should have got him, but Mary Louise got him first. Do you uh, recognize this man? <laughs> Dude. Who cares about the random bartender hookup? Well, she doesn't remember what happened. Maybe she something happened. Do you recognize this man? I don't. Damn. Oh. Michael something. Those were two different dudes she got with. Who were these guys? Did you have sexual relations with all these men? This, this has nothing to do with my capacity to parent my children. These are good pictures of these guys. Did you ever bring any of these men home when the boys were there? Well, once he was gone before they woke up. Oh, so did Joshua to tell his grandmother the other night I tried to get into bed with mommy, but there was a stranger there. Whoa. If he said, I tried to wake mommy up, but I couldn't, and the stranger told me to go back to my room, that would just be his imagination? Uh-oh. I mean, but that's not, like, illegal, though. Like, what is... It does, it does prove negligence in that she doesn't know everything while on ambient and run off the side of the road. oh my god she's talking about her ambient um. this is really bad he's just trying to show that she isn't being completely truthful i've always put my children's interests first and i've always always kept them safe even when there was a monster in the house have you ever been violent with your children mrs wright here we go. You pushed him one time. Did you ever strike your mother-in-law? Yeah. I slapped her in the face. Did you ever push your husband down a flight of stairs? No. 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 No, that was Bonnie over there in the, in the stands. This is a computer simulation of your husband's fatal fall. Objection. Relevant. Uh, Not to mention unfair surprise. What the hell? This is where your husband would have landed from a natural fall. Now, this is where he did land. Oh. The physics say that for him to have landed there, he must have been pushed. That's, I think that's, that can't be right. Yeah, I was going to say, that <laughs> sounds like not true. He could have definitely just had a different fall. She might commit a homicide, but hey. Objection. Can... All right, the objection on relevance is sustained. Mm. Thank you, Your Honor. I have no further questions. Thank you. She's rubbing her wrists like that. That didn't go well. Went really bad. She was having me fall. Unbelievable. She had PIs on me. God. Messages. Okay, that was rougher than we thought. Katie, why are you here? You can't leave it like that. I dare. Did you ever push your husband on a flight of stairs? I did. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Mm -mm, that would be bad. I must say I was surprised to hear from Here we him. go. I oh. Think, I think maybe the detective might go for Madeline as the one to crack. About getting a sense that you didn't just take it. But you are looking to say that. <laughs> True. I'd like both Joseph and Madeline to pay. But I'm also attracted to you. <laughs> Ooh. No, shut it down, Ed. Come on. I keep both a masturbation diary and a bucket list. You made both. Whoa. It's about me getting you. I want you. Wait. What? Who was that walking outside? I think he's just tweaking, but also... If we have sex, we'll probably um, it. If we don't... What's her name? Had, a, had PIs on Celeste. Like, what if people are watching them right now? <laughs> she 
not well. Clearly, you can see that. No, what I see is a woman who's struggling. Who isn't? Are you struggling, Jane? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't say that. With your conscience, perhaps? Oh, my gosh. Ziggy told me you purchased a gun. Did you plan to use it on my son? Did you move to Monterey to hunt him down? He's crazy, bro. Oh, the difficulty that my son is gonna have to face me to prove to because of your fucking son. He was not. Oh, that's not good to say. Oh, Mary Louise is an evil mastermind, bro. Madeline? Hey, let's go, Ed. Fix the marriage, guys. <laughs> no, no more Bonnie Dream State. Yes. I can't. <laughs> Her mom's like, Bonnie, if you don't kill me, I'm gonna kill you. Are we dealing with some kind of sexual addiction here? No, there's no sexual addiction. This is right. Something seems to be going on here. These encounters. Yeah. It's not just random. Definitely there's a reason for it. And so that's why I was engaging with the others, because I, I these other men, because I think I wanted to, to, to be free of Perry, and I want to push him out. Okay. That's a decent reason. I mean, either way, I was afraid if I left him of what he might do, I was afraid how he would react i was afraid of being alone i was so i stayed talk about like the apartment you you got and stuff and how he showed up there you know what i mean we're gonna talk about harry this much mr farber i don't want him to go again My dear. Huh? don't tell me she actually stood up uh oh, is she about to pull the plug? I have to oh no, okay. I realized I needed to confess to you first. You gonna tell her mom about what she did? I resent you for your impatience, for slapping me. I resent you for all the sex I started to have when I was 13. To oh my god. That I could be loved. Oh, deep rooted trauma. I resent you for making me feel so fucking worthless that I settled for a man that I don't. Damn. Yeah, say it. You settled for him. Fuck that guy. But mainly, I resent you for killing a man. Oh. I killed Silas Hathbena. He didn't slip when I lunged at him. I was pushing you. Mm. Whoa. Oh my god. Wow, she was crying. Whoa. Robert Johansson. <laughs> yeah. And this was for a model train? On a Lionel Union Pacific car. <laughs> they auctioning away all their shit. Marshall Brickman. No Marshall Brickman? All right, Juliet Dubois? Oh, here we go. And what is this other listed? $160,000. That's our other services vendor. What other services? Trust management. Can you be more specific? Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, hold up. I'd just like to leave it at that if I could. No. What does that mean, dude? Gordon? I still love you. You know that, right? <laughs> oh my god, Gordon. Holy shit. No matter what fuck up excuse you come up with, you fucking... Choked his mouth with tissues. 
Oh my god, Renata. So is this decision time? Or are the girls not talking? And I'm prepared to enter my finding at this time. In the case. This is right. I would like to call a witness. Whoa, 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 what? You've been asked to decide where my boys would be better off. Assess the boys. them. Oh no. Oh, this might backfire. I was examined. She should be too. Oh. There is no suggestion that my client's parental capacity is up for I'm making that suggestion now. I was fair game, so was she. And with the court's permission, I would like to question her myself. Ooh. I'm an attorney. I have a current bar license. I'm entitled to participate in my own defense. That may very well be true, but I don't <laughs> think it's in your best interest. Well, she wants to, it's so. Not a fight, Your Honor. I ask that you let me wage it. Oh my God, Celeste. I, I really you hope that goes well, but I'm scared for you. Adjourned. I don't know. <laughs> Can anyone beat Meryl Streep in a in a talking argument? I don't think what, so. What is she gonna bring up though? Like what? I, maybe, maybe maybe Celeste like knows some things. Like maybe Perry talked about his childhood. What what? A bit. I don't know. What was Raymond's accident? His dad or, or his, his brother, brother that died? I don't know. Yeah. What was the accident? He was only like five years old or something. Yeah. Maybe there was negligence there. Yeah, I don't know. Because I feel like, the dad left as well. I feel like it would have to be something that, like, Celeste has known from Perry. Because, like, what would she... Like, what has Mary Louise done to show that she, like, can't parent a child? I don't know. Other than raise an actual <laughs> monster of a human being. Yeah. But we don't really have proof for that, um, unfortunately. Yeah, I honestly really liked all the courtroom stuff in this episode. Yeah, I think it's really interesting. Although I'd rather that not be happening obviously i want celeste to have her her boys but just seeing the the arguments and the points being brought up mostly by mary louise's lawyer it's just it's interesting to watch it play out and uh excited for celeste to question mary louise i feel like that's just gonna be so like i feel like i'm gonna be on edge the whole time I'm gonna want to crawl out of my skin was also very happy to find out that Corey was not a cop in this episode he just seems like a good dude really hoping that uh him and jane work out eventually he seems like he's gonna be sticking around or not letting jane go but um as long as he does it in a relaxed way i'm cool with it but uh yeah i just think he's he's a good positive influence for both of them but i mean with the things that are going on in the show right now i understand if jane's like don't really want a boyfriend at the moment so we'll see where that goes yeah i thought the bad mother was going to be in reference to celeste and may that may be the case but i also think it was mainly bonnie's mom this episode i feel like we got a lot of new information about her and their child or her childhood and how her mom treated her it seems like she, like kind of they hinted at she was just very like she's had a lot of rage in her and she would and bonnie like kind of felt unsafe in her own house and she would, uh, I think, like hit Bonnie, and so Bonnie grew up to to also kind of have this rage about her, where she, she's like, I always want to beat the shit out of people, and and then the big reveal is like when she she was pushing uh, Perry, she she kind of like imagined it, like she was pushing her mom maybe to get back at her for all the the trauma in her life. Um, I don't, obviously that's not an excuse for for killing Perry. Can't really be like I, th I thought it was my mom, but that is like where it came from. So that's that's good to know it's also a lot harder i imagine because she already has all this stuff she was dealing with and then now on top of it she actually did kill someone so she's all and then she's also like imagining herself admitting to it in court so i really hope that doesn't happen but it's just weird i, I don't really know how i see this season ending i, I think i see celeste having a really good next episode and kind of putting mary louise in her place and making sure that she doesn't have to give her kids up but then the case is still there and it's how's it going to end where we're just like okay the case is dead and we don't have to worry about anyone poking around anymore because i feel like with detective quinlan it's not seeming like she's going to give up anytime soon so i wouldn't be too surprised if someone got caught 
I mean, it would be Bonnie, right? Like, and, but I don't know, because then if Bonnie admits it, all they'd the all other get, they'd all get in yeah, so all the other trouble. girls or w women will like go to jail as well because they've just been lying about it the whole time. They were there, they knew it. So like, what would make this go silent? I just don't really know at this point. Maybe if they they've been doing something illegal uh, on the on the investigative side, or if Mary Louise just pulls the whole. But it's not like it's her case, though. I guess the boys, yeah, the boys thing, but... If she, but if, the, if Mary Louise pulls the the case with the whole boys thing, then none of these women would be testifying at all. So there would be no risk of perjury. Yeah, but Which I feel like that's how they're kind of banking on catching them right now, is, is one of the five women is going to commit perjury and they're not going to be able to keep their story straight. But if they don't have to testify, then there's no risk of that. It seemed like at the end there... It, the lady, the judge was like ready to give the verdict. Mm -hmm. So I, th I don't think any of the the Monterey Five are going to even have to testify. It seemed like they were going to, but yeah. it doesn't feel like that right now. All right, guys. Well, that is pretty much it for this episode. If you have been liking these big little lies reactions, make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Check all the links in our description as well. We have our Patreon, Discord, all of our social medias, our second channel, and our PO box. Make sure to check all those out. With all that being said, we'll see you guys next time in Big Little Lies Season 2 finale. Peace out.